All right. Today, I'm going to be turning Flicker Strike into Concentrated Path with a Flicker Strike Shockwave build that I don't think anyone has ever played before. I'm going to be doing Flicker Strike with Awakened Void Manipulation, Withering Touch, Awakened Melee Support, Cruelty, and Shockwave. It's going to hit people. It's going to explode. It's going to feel like Concentrated Path. Why not just play Concentrated Path? Well, uh, I, I, don't ha I, don't have a good, I don't have a good answer for that. Uh, go, go ahead and play Concentrated Path. Yeah, it's, pro it's probably better than this. But I am going to build this. It's a little awkward to play. I've done two maps with it now. Uh, that should be fine. 30% more life on monsters. I've done two maps with it so far. And it seems to work okay. I'm running this belt to give brutality charges. This pair of boots to give me my frenzy charges. Plus one to maximum frenzy charges. This because it's the only ring I had that cannot be poisoned. And it gives me some chaos and you know that's good. The covenant. This just because a lot of life, a lot of mana, a lot of global energy shield. This bad boy, because it gives me basically perfect block. This is just a basic bitch, uh, high damage, low attack speed, single-handed mace. And uh, here's what I'm running. I got one of these bad boys right here to give me my endurance charges that are now considered brutality charges. Because they are now brutality charges, I had to get rid of my original anomalous endurance charge stun because I do not get that 4% more damage per endurance charge. I dislike that it removes things that bonus from endurance charge. I think this should be modified to say endurance or brutality charges, but that's just me. Alright, my... Resistances are good. Chaos is pretty good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now with this build, you can pop that potion, which is going to let the brutality just pop up because that potion hurts you. And as you can see, it's a flicker strike without a splash. I can't do this just yet. Because there's no splash on the flicker strike, it just uses the shockwave. So it's kind of like concentrated path. Or it's like Flicker Strike with Splash. But uh, the Splash reduces damage, and this is a fuck ton of damage added for everything. You just kind of jump on people and blow them up. The big boys take a couple hits, but the small boys, they, they done in one. And the good thing about the brutality charges is uh, it helps with the stuns. Because you get a triple damage hit and you're going to be stunning everything. Maybe even Barses. I don't know. There's something seriously wrong with my life leech, though. I was I ran out of uh, frenzy charges there, if you had noticed, and I should not be running out of frenzy charges. I wonder if that guy stole them. Some people are frenzy charge stealers, which should be against the law. Stop! You have violated the law. Now one might ask, why don't you use Awaken Multi-Strike? You have one in your inventory. And the answer is, Shockwave does not get buffed by Awaken Multi-Strike. And Shockwave is doing more damage than Flicker Strike. So Shockwave is the bulk of my damage. So if I were to put Awaken Multi-Strike on there, it would buff up my Flicker Strike. But at the same time, it will reduce the damage of my Shockwave.
Why am I out of frenzy charges? Didn't say anything about them stealing my frenzy charges. One downside of this build is with my... I survived a fucking strongbox. One of the downsides of this build is my gloves provide a lot of bonuses while being at maximum frenzy charge. 60% chance to poison. And when I hit the flicker, it reduces a uh, motherfucking frenzy charge. And then I no longer do 60% chance to poison. We got a fucking Coxes here. Haven't fought a boss yet, so we will uh, see what a boss I feels like with this, this uh, ghetto concentrated path. Or just Flicker Strike with Splash. But I like the idea of it being concentrated path. Reduce my AOE on this map, so it's a bit uh, shrinky dinky. And one of the things about this build. It's using the Covenant. And the Covenant breaks everything. Because the Covenant is way too powerful. Because whoever made this league has no clue what Path of Exile is. I killed myself with my Chaos Potion. They better not think they're getting credit for that. I wanted to see, you know, how much damage it would do to me, and it did quite a bit. Why do I keep clicking on those? I hate them. Now, if you wanted to be uber tanky, and probably that not that much of a damage reduction, you could go back to endurance charges. And with that uh, anomalous endurance charge support, you're getting more damage than all the other supports that I have on here. It's pretty strong. My spirit is spent. But I kind of wanted to use the brutality. Let's take a look at some defenses. Uh, physical damage reduction is 80%. Between 80 and 71, depending on whether I'm holding steel or not. When I'm flicking, I'm holding steel. Evasion is 79. As I said, we got uh, glancing blows with a 75% block chance for physical and 40 something for spells. It is pretty tanky, but uh, at the same time. Low life, so, you know. I can't do this just yet. Have to t keep a pretty big mana pool in order to, to sustain the uh, no flicker strikes. Why can't I, I flicker? The, the fuck happened there? Did he silence me? And you see, it works okay on bosses. Obviously, it's not the strongest build that's ever been built. It's more about being cool than it is about being strong. At least that's what my gym coach told me. Your sentence is death. A fate worse than death. Yours, if you can keep it. A 
Cortex map. I handled that boss fairly easy. It is another functional, albeit not perfect or optimized, build. Let's try some dumb shit with it. Let's do some Dale. Ooh, look. Currency. And the reason that I don't think a lot of people have thought about this or done this because Flicker Strike does not go with maces very well. And, well, at least not one-handed maces. And Shockwave can only be used with maces and staffs. So someone combining Flicker Strike with Shockwave just does not seem like a good idea. But as you can see, where there's a wheel, there's a refrigerator. So I find myself with this bill taking a lot of damage over time or something that prevents me from gaining life. So I think I want to do something to modify it. Obviously it works there. Let me see what I've got here. What am I running? Yeah, let's do this. Let's reverse that. Let's path into this and just really amp up my leech to see if that helps. Let's try that out for size. Still have to get intelligence shit, which bothers me, but whatever. Whatever, I accept it. Now let's try that out for size. Now I also have to get a map that does enough damage to actually let me test that. So let's see if I got something like that. I can't do this just yet. Oh, no, you big man. boy, you got something cool for me? Let's transform some of those. G -g 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 -g. Transformers. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't remember if this... Yeah, I don't think that's a hard map. I don't think that's going to test anything. I know it's got an annoying boss that you have to fight multiple times, but I don't think it's like chimichangas that's or anything. Sad. There we go. Another Droxus. Yeah, I got a ton of the poison, dude. Let's kill a fucking second Droxus. I'm also very hesitant on exactly whether cruelty is good. Cruelty, a lot of people complain that it doesn't stack well, but I'm hitting hard. So I think cruelty stacks. I wasn't paying close enough attention. I think I'm getting the full 40 with cruelty. Now one thing I have not tested, and I don't think it will work, is if I attack a different target, if it's also going to shockwave. But I don't think it'll work, because if it does shockwave, I believe it will handle with the same shockwave cooldown that this one has. So it won't be anything magical. Is this better than regular flicker strike? I don't think so. I think regular flicker strike is superior in virtually every way. But, if you've ever wanted to shock, and you've ever wanted to wave, and you've ever wanted to flick that clip, this is the build for you. Of course, it is rather expensive this late in the league. I just got a bunch of really good gear accumulated. Yes, it looks like that added leech did help, since my life is so low. But I did drop my frenzy charges again. How? Is that even possible? Let's do the math here. Okay, 47 times 952 equals attacks have a 38% chance to cause bleeding. 50% to inflict bleeding, have it reversed on me, gain a frenzy charge when you hit while bleeding. Bleeding. 
and golden rule. I should be. I mean, I guess Flicker Strike takes a full frenzy charge, and I only have a 50% chance to get it. No, it's just gain a frenzy charge while bleeding. Unless my bleed is so quick. I'm bleeding these bitches out so fast that uh, it's not staying on them, thus not reflecting to me. I'd hate to have to put Awakened Multi-Strike on here, in my opinion. Awaken Multi-Strike would kill the build. The whole point of being able to use this is to be able to avoid Awaken Multi-Strike, thus applying more damage to the Shockwave. If I put Awaken Multi-Strike on, this build is defeated. Bosses. I don't want to get hit with that. I can pop that potion again. I keep poshing that potion if it's, as if it's going to give me life, but it does not give me life. Ooh, I have to walk. I almost want to not do this map now. I was using that potion with my last build where I had. 79 chaos resistances. I don't know why I'm killing this fucking pole. And with 79 chaos resistance, when I popped that, it did not hit too hard. But now, it hits pretty hard. So if I ever get into trouble and I panic hit that button, I'll just keep, I'll just put my left hand on my nutsack. Therefore, it is not next to those, and I won't hit that button no more. That would have been a great test to see my life leech as well. To see whether it's acceptable. I have a build in my mind for my trickster. It's gonna be a flicker strike, cast on crit, exsanguinate build. I don't think it's gonna work. Hold on, before I engage these people in fisticuffs, let me drop that portal. Good thing I dropped that portal. You saw my potion basically kill me I there. Oh, I cannot regen life. So it's all. I'm not even sure I'll be able to kill these two bosses without some life regeneration abilities. Let me tell you what. Just for a temporary situation, I'm going to put on my other belt and it's going to transform them into endurance charges. Which is going to allow me to be dummy. <laughs> this is fucking hysterical. I'm not going to be able to get to this boss. Because these guys fucking destroy me. They're not doing fire resistance. Good. Look at all those fucking balls. This is pretty ruthless. Nope. Can't do it. I lost that fucking boss battle. Who would have fucking thought it? Even with a little bit of endurance charges. Here's the downside. If any build that uses... Oh, motherfucker. I could have just put on the... Oh, man. 
Oh man. Oh no, I can't flicker strike with that, with those gloves, with the boots. I was like, I, I just put on my fucking endurance charge boots where they get them when I hold steel. Where the hell are they? They must be in one of my tabs. Guess I don't need to show them. Everyone know what they do. Well, that was highly disappointing. I can't leave it on that note. So let us test the build to its maximum. Can a bot use this build? Is it bot viable? Feels bot viable. Obviously not bot optimal. If I change my boots, it might be a little more bot optimal. So I get that movement speed and you're killing shit. But I hate those boots. Fucking hate them. I'm not being hit, so my brutality charges drop pretty quick. enough of this. So there happen to be... Oh, there we go. Another boss I can attempt. Now, that last boss, I am quite dumbfounded on just how brutal double bosses on that was. And that was the ultimate weakness of this build. I can't do this just yet. Because I only got 43% chance to spell block and no spell suppression. Without spell suppression and no maximum to elemental resistance, this build is quite weak to elemental damage. Let me go back and collect. Practice makes perfect. Another example of elemental damage fucking me up. Now this build feels a lot better instead of holding flicker strike down to do a tap. You just tap it and then continue to run. Tap, 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 just tap it in. Gives you a little bit of high mobility and a lot more control than the standard flicker strike build where you're going ape shit with fucking awaken multi-strike. Allow you to impede the cause. Be still. Rayclass needs me. Light of salvation. What am I fucking hit with? Jesus. Be still. Rayclass needs me. Really hate fucking damage over time bullshit. Fucking hate it. As you can see, this is definitely, <laughs> definitely a mapper and not a bosser. Actually, it's likely a not player. But, shockwave with flicker strike, am I right? Um, how am I gonna do this? Pop it out here. 
Let the regen happen a little bit. Let the regen happen a little bit. Pop that. Get in there. I mean, I get close to him and I fu it's almost like this game really doesn't like melee. Die, motherfucker. Why are you still alive? Look at you, you're dead. Everything for the cause. Can you say the same? I don't even know if this is any good. I don't even remember. Don't think so. Yeah. You're fucking delicious trash food. I can't do this just yet. paying close enough attention to that boss to see if I was losing my frenzy charges. I should review this video later. I shouldn't be losing frenzy charges on a single target boss. Because I should get a frenzy charge every single hit. Because the bleeding reflects to me. And bleeding lasts quite a while. I guess it is possible for that 30% chance I have to, to bleed to not proc over several attacks to where the bleed vanishes. But, mathematically, that should not be possible. Even if I'm bouncing in and bouncing out like a fucking butterfly, stinging like a bee, this shouldn't be the case. Long day. Not purchase item. Atlas mission. Now, you don't have to necessarily use Flicker Strike. You can do the exact same build I did last time, or you can even use the real thing. Uh, concentrated Path. There's nothing stopping you from doing Concentrated Path. And with Concentrated Path, we can even have even slower attack speed. Uh, let's just see where we're finding. Yeah, right here. Pulverize. Let's get rid of cruelty for pulverize. And let's try it with concentrated path. The, the real thing instead of the fake thing. We got more of these Long fucking day. Kurak missions. Find a rare map. Maybe it's a good During one. A we cannot retreat, regenerate. I don't like that. Behind some supplies. Most won't be missed. But there's a Tane is already in the region doing research. He mentioned needing some aid of the I do need more harvest. We'll do harvest. Oh yeah, look at that speed, baby. See how Flicker Strike kind of felt like this? Flicker Strike obviously had a faster attack on the original. This might not even properly get the shockwaves out, or it might be the perfect speed to get the shockwaves out. This just seems like gratuitous splash damage, though. I can't do this just yet. It probably does do more damage overall, though, because I'm at uh, maximum frenzy charges the entire time. We need not the fruit, just the juice. We need not the fruit, just the juice. And I get the concentration, the concentrated, uh, ground. For some regen. I wonder if that helps my leech, too. I think it's just regen. Let's 
Now you can do an uber tanky version of this. Which I might do a video on. With, uh... Nebulot. But you're not using brutality charges. And I felt I wanted to use some brutality charges. I got all those different brutality belts. I might as well use some of them. Get me some trip damage. And on top of using brutality charges, you could also do... The replica... Ice Mace thing, where you deal double damage, but it's Chaos instead of uh, Cold. But don't do Brutality Charges, because Brutality Charges are triple damage, and the other one is double damage, and they'll override each other, and you're kind of wasting the triple damage with that. Because double damage 100% of the time is better than triple damage some of the time. As long as some of the time is less than, you know, 33.3%. Ignoring the effect of, uh... What do they call that shit? Stun. Ignoring the effect of stun. Triple damage is good for stun builds. It, it feels very similar to Flicker Strike. Flicker Strike obviously having the faster attack speed kind of pops off a little better. But they do feel very similar. And this doesn't teleport if you're close. Why do I keep popping that potion? I mean, it, it, it's just a habit. I get into a boss and then I pop that fucking potion. It does all that damage to me. Why do I pop that potion when I first enter a map and there's a bunch of mobs around? I get in there, pop that potion, it does a bunch of damage to me. And my very fast attack speed has a little bit of difficulty popping off. I kind of don't want to... You yeah, you'll teleport me down I there. Can't do this just yet. I kind of don't want to walk all the way over there. But it's not that far. Dig. A good song by Incubus. I think I'm leaving shockwaves on the table. I think the attack speed with this is not quite fast enough for all the shockwaves to pop off. So I do think the flicker strike is better. Unless you're doing a full damage convert to fire, but I ain't doing that. this was a special map. I guess not. Why did, why did I run? Oh, I ran this map only to test out Concentrated Path. So yes, Concentrated Path can be used. You can also use the good old-fashioned Cyclone, or basically any build you want. Let us, uh, Cyclone. I'll just throw the ball in there. Make sure everything is workable. Everything is workable. Let's run another map. That's the trail. Gross. Delirium mirror. No Nothing dangerous. Cyclone probably the best. Flicker strike the most interesting. Concentrated path shouldn't be no used this way. No one but me. Hello again. But cyclone is quite uh, quite nice this way. Do I want to run you? I don't really want to waste the time to set up your bombs. Though you are one of my favorite league mechanics. You can just somehow get rid of the need. The need to read. Now I would just fucking live stream. A lot of people, uh, very accurate critiques of my videos that they are entirely too long 
which is true. But I typically uh, would live stream. But if I live stream, then no one's going to see the video because no one's going to see this shit live. And then live streams kind of are handled a little different than a regular video upload. No one goes back and rewatches live streams. And the only reason I post on the internet is because when I'm playing my game, I can just hit one button and it records a video and then I just upload it. It's literally seconds out of my life. Maybe a minute total to get this all set up. I can't do this just yet. A minute per video to put it on YouTube and have other people enjoy is worth it. Now, if I were to do video editing or, you know, clipping, cutting, perform, uh, making the video significantly better, really wouldn't be worth my time. And, uh, you know, then I wouldn't be posting at all. So, that's why these videos are all extremely long. But I doubt any of you are watching this dedicatedly. And you're definitely watching it at 2.0 speed, as you should. Except for a few moments when you want to see the actual combat. Uh, it's always wise to have something else going on, like playing Path of Exile, or throwing this on monitor number 2, or 3, or 4. But not 5. That's fucking too many. I guess I'll do you now. the flicker strike exsanguinate bill. I don't know how I'm going to do that. But the idea is, every critical strike, I cast exsanguinate. Because that's what cast on crit do. And then, I stack frenzy charges. Because that's what trickster do. But from that point, I'm at a little bit of a loss on what to do after that. Frenzy charges are good for doing damage to all things, including attack and spell. Obviously, I want to try to get Battle Mage of some sort. I don't really know how I'm going to get Battle Mage. I also uh, probably want to use Night... Nah, I probably don't want to use Nightblade, so I'll path out a Nightblade. Probably try to do some kind of Aura Stacker. So converting the damage from physical on uh, exsanguinate to elemental then the damage from my attacks to elemental hit up uh, all the heralds I can hit up all the heralds I can hit up purity the poison one okay. ice, fire, lightning maybe reduce their cost and do some damage conversion That build, I gotta think about more. Late at night, or when taking a shit, just look at unique pieces of gear with unique subsets and say, hey, that'll work. And then get to task, building it out. And I go straight into it. I don't really like path of building to see if a build works. I like just fucking get into it. Take a divine, buy some regrets, rebuild the build. Now I'd love to be one of them speed players, but you could tell I'm slow, real slow. Not just playing the game, I'm slow in the head. Like my fucking inbred Zed. And being slow in the head means that I cannot level up characters quickly. So it's just better to use the regrets the boss had to have been in there. It's better to use the fucking regrets and just repath the character. 
than it is to level it up. Fastest I've ever done it. Ah, oh, fuck this boss. I don't know where he's at. Hate this map. Long day. Fastest I've ever leveled the character. Wait, I think this might have been a special map. I can't fucking remember. I guess I'll fucking try to find the boss. Maybe the boss was in this arena? Nope, I don't even care if it was a special map. I'm done with it. I'm over it. I have no way to tell whether shit was correct or not. As I was saying, the fastest I've ever done it, trying to be super quick, was probably over six hours, between six and seven, even with very fast leveling gear. Six to seven hours to get to maps, where I can build a new build with regrets and maybe two. So that's an extra four hours I'm saving. And if I apply my salary to that, that is a lot of money. I think I'm done with this build. I think I'm done with this video. You guys have yourself a glorious Saturday.